Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes and please leave what does not. We have the Knight of Cups. This could be somebody coming in to propose or be nice or like apologize or, you know, something like that. Something very charming. Now, let's see what's after that. Oh, we got the Hermit. Somebody was thinking. Somebody is, you know, they're returning because they thought about everything. They realized maybe they were wrong about something, but it took for them to be alone for a minute. Okay, this can involve a Virgo because you got the Hermit card here. Somebody that thought really hard about something. Oh, Two of Wands. It looked like somebody don't want you to go. It looked like somebody sees you. Like they see you like, mm, I need to think about my next move. Somebody doesn't want you to think about your next move. Somebody does not want to see you go. Somebody's going to try to charm you to keep you. They're going to try to say, oh, I thought about this and I thought about that and I've changed. But I don't know about all that thinking shit. How about we do some shit? OK, when you see some shit, when you see some shit change, like like genuinely, not like one day to the next. No, no, no. I don't know if I would. Whoever this two of wands is. Yeah, you keep looking out that window. You keep looking at what you could have. OK, because you got this seven of cups here. You got this seven of, oh shit, that joint wanna slide out, what's that? Seven of cups, five of wands? Seven of cups, five of wands? Okay, seven of cups is already like, you know, delusion or illusions or... <sighs> With this five of wands, the illusion being the conflict, the illusion being the conflict, what is illusion? Maybe drugs or alcohol or something like that? It's something like that where somebody is like, you know, I'm sorry. You know, I've thought about it. I've changed. And you're still like, mm, nah. Matter of fact, this two of wands is looking right at this five of wands, seven of cups. Like there's something here where somebody's delusion is a conflict. And that's why I think it's drugs or alcohol. Somebody's delusion is the utmost conflict. Somebody's delusion is the reason why this person right here is looking like, mm, I think I've outgrown this. Mm, I think I want to go on this journey. Look, it's somebody has the whole world in front of them. Somebody has a, a, what, a map, a plan. Somebody's really like looking at the world like the world is so much more than what you're trying to give me. Okay. And it's just maybe I feel like somebody feels alone. It's the night. Of, okay. It looks like, yes, this person thought about this, but I feel like two people within this relationship feel alone. The The hermit is the only major arcana in this deck. I mean, I'm, what am I talking about? The, <laughs> the hermit is the only major arcana on the board. OK, that's what I meant to say. But wow, it really feels like two people feel alone in a relationship. I don't know if this is alcohol, drugs. I don't know if somebody is just delusional and that shit just messes the whole vibe up. But this Knight of Cups, they want to apologize for what, you know, the Knight of Cups, Seven of Cups, it's connected. It's the Cups. It's this Knight of Cups that's either using some type of drugs or alcohol. It's something here that they're apologizing for and they're going to tell you, oh, I thought really hard about this. But you're still going to be looking out in the horizon. You're still going to be trying to figure out like, what it is that you want because this right here this is this is like conflict comes when somebody is drunk or high or some shit like i know what i'm seeing here i know what i'm seeing here and it's like somebody is this is now i don't even want to say that because that's not really funny but i was going to say this is like some ike and tina type shit right here 
except like i don't know i'm scared to say this for real but like this five of wands makes me feel like somebody endures some type of abuse now it's not physical abuse for everybody but somebody is enduring some type of abuse because of some type of alcohol or drugs it doesn't have to be physical it can be verbal emotional spiritual somebody's dealing with some type of abuse and all this knight of cups can say is like you know i've thought about everything and you know i'm sorry nobody want to hear that shit. people want to see the change nobody wants to hear the the charming and the words nobody cares about that especially people still feel like they're alone in this relationship like so interesting this knight of cups is the only one actually like facing me looking at me everything else is looking towards the future everything else is looking towards the future like somebody is i think somebody is realizing like this is not going to change or this is a cycle or just that you outgrown it with the two of wands like it says safe travel here i'm getting an elegua energy or eshu Okay, number 30, number three can be significant. It says safe travel. Like, you know what? This Knight of Cups thinks that they're the only ones that, you know, needed a moment to think about some shit. You was sitting there thinking about some shit too. And I told you, with this map and this world thing, I mean the globe, and you're looking out the window and it says safe travel, somebody's about to leave. Somebody's about to get the fuck up out of here. It's a divinity here. Yeah, like you're realizing you're too good for this shit. You're too good for this. 20 can be significant. 30 can be significant. Two or three. It says safe travel. You know why it says safe travel? Because you're pure. You don't have to deal with it. You don't have to worry about anything. You know what I'm saying? It's not whatever it is that this delusion or drug or whatever the case may be. That shit is not your fault. You don't have to worry about it. Your path is in front of you. Okay. I don't know who needs to hear that, but you don't have to worry about it. Like maybe somebody thinks they're not going to do good or they're not going to survive or, you know, they don't know where to go or what to do. They're just trying to figure it out. Whatever you want to do, you will be supported. You will absolutely be supported and nobody's going to be able to stop you. It says empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. Okay. That's good. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Mm. I don't like that. You know, I don't like that perseverance is because it's falling on top of the Knight of Cups. And it just lets me know this person is going to be re relentless. This person is going to try and try and try. This person is going to use the art of what guilt tripping, trying to make you feel sorry for them. It says empathy. I'm open to like they're going to want you to to be like, well, just see my side of it. Just understand that I'm trying and just like, no, think about you. Stop. Don't let this person put you in their mindset or their mind frame or paint a picture for you. Look at how you're feeling. This person is not going to stop. This person is not going to stop until they get what they want. And they're going to they're going to continue the same bullshit. OK, you have safe travel you have safe travel you have the opportunity to get away from this because you sitting there feeling sorry for somebody i know that's probably what this person is doing you sitting there feeling sorry for them nothing's changing 12th house here mm, this is a blind spot here and that's the house of neptune which can also be illusions and delusions and things like that you got uh, Sagittarius here and you have Uranus. I don't know why I'm getting the energy of. It has to do something with going far like. But it's the 12th house, though, so I know that this is something like a blind spot or something that's wrapping up. It's something that's in its last phases. It's like, I feel like somebody doesn't know. Like, I feel like this is something that's in the works. I feel like this is something that is being planned. And I feel like when the 12th house turns into the first house, I feel like something is going to activate. I feel like something is already activating, but I feel like it's not physical right now. I feel like it is like, me like mental, like subconscious. It's like very deep within. 
perhaps this person knows, like I said at the beginning, this person knows that you want to leave or you're trying to leave. And this is why they're doing this now, because they can feel it. But like I said, when the 12th house turns into the first house, I'm telling you, this plan will be active. This will be activated. Okay, somebody's on their last straw here. Somebody's on their last straw. I really strongly believe this person knows that you want to leave. And this person is, is actively doing things to keep you. <sighs> Even though you see, well, I don't know, like I said, I can't pin the drugs and alcohol on everybody. I don't know if it's delusions, illusions. I don't know if somebody keeps making you a choice or something like that. It's something along those lines, but I'm strongly getting drug abuse. With Seven of Cups, Five of Wands, I'm strongly getting drug abuse. Somebody's delusion causes conflict. Seven of Pentacles here. Something being unfinished, like maybe somebody feels like something is unfinished or they want to keep trying something. Man, this is unfulfilled success, okay? Like to be honest with you. You can do what you want to do in this situation. What's here? It says the Ace of Cups. Now, this right here is new love, but this is unfortunately next to the Seven of Cups and the Five of Wands. I think this person wants to keep starting over. This person wants to keep fucking putting illusions and shit up in the air. They want to keep you under some type of... <laughs> it almost seems like a spell. I mean, because Seven of Cups, Five of Wands, it's like being attacked from all around or something like that, and you don't know what the hell is going on. And this is supposed to be an Ace of Cups. This person wants to continue. This person thinks that y'all are unfinished. This is what this person thinks. That's what's in their mind. Okay? This is what they're, tr they're trying to put in your mind. If you think that you are finished, you need to hold on to that and not let this person get in your mind and tell you anything that's all they want is another chance another chance another chance <sighs> i do feel that somebody has new love out there i do feel like somebody does have choices okay i feel like it's a matter of stretching your like energy like like you have to use your masculine energy i don't care if you're a woman or a man there's choices for you, but you're going to have to push through something, okay? I don't know exactly what it is, but you're going to have to push through something in order to get to the love. Because right now, you're in some type of illusion. You're in some type of fucking movie, like where you're like, is this really my life type shit? Five of Wands again. You see what I'm saying? Five of Wands on top of the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is already unfinished. And on top of that, you want to fight too? You want to talk about having another chance and we don't, we're not finished and we need to go further and we have so much more and all. you want to talk about all that, but you want to like either force or fight or conflict because something is unfinished. I'm trying to tell you that Five of Wands, now I know what it is. Remember how I said you want to have to get through something in order to get to the real love? It's this uh, Knight of Cups. It's this Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups, because you got the Five of Wands out here twice. The Knight of Cups is the one that you're going to have to get through. It is unfinished for a reason. You literally have to beat somebody off of you. Because it's finished. You got the Judgment card. Exactly. I'm getting that energy of like, this person got one more time to put their hands on you. Or they got one more time to be under the influence of something. They got one more time. It's like somebody is really waking up from this dream and they're realizing like, it's not changing. It's not changing. It went from five of wands to judgment. That's like, you what you gonna force me to, to give you more? You gonna force me to do more? I don't have no more. It's unfulfilled success. We've already tried. You get what I'm saying? It's done. <sighs> Seven of Pentacles again. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Somebody needs to wake up because this is not going to change. It's not meant to be complete. It's not meant to be finished. It was meant to be just like this. This is you got to leave it just like this. 
it's always some five or some seven in this reading. And it's just like, damn, like on top of everything, you gonna give me conflict. It's already bad enough. This shit is unfinished. It's already, well, it is finished to be honest, but this person thinks that it's unfinished. But if they think it's so unfinished, why they keep giving you this conflict? Why they keep playing games and shit? You're going to wake up and you're going to realize this. I don't even have that many major arcana on the board. The only two I have is the hermit and the judgment card. Like somebody for real, and I got a confirmation over there. Somebody is really waking up and realizing like, this is not where it's at. This is not where it's at. Like you got to leave this shit right here. It wasn't meant to be a tree. It was meant to be a bush. That joint was not going to grow any bigger than a bush. Leave that damn bush right there. What's at the bottom here? You got the tower card. Like, I don't think you, I don't think you know. You got a real love out there. You got a real love out there. You may not know you were being prepared for this love, but you got a real love out there. Cause this seven of cups shit, don't nobody want this. Who wants to be in a relationship like this? Nobody wants to be in a relationship like this. Nobody wants the illusions and delusions and I don't know this and I don't know what's in front of me and I don't know where I'm at and I don't know how to do anything. I don't know how to treat somebody right. I don't know how to do any damn thing. That's what the energy I'm getting from this five of wands, seven of cups. And with this tower coming out in like the pending position, shit is about to hit the fan. It's about to hit the fan. And when it hits the fan, there's nothing that will be, that can be done. I don't know how it's going to hit the fan, but I know some shit is going to change. You got the King of Cups once again, King of Cups, and then you got the Five of Wands there. Like I said, don't nobody want to sit there fighting with somebody. Don't nobody want to sit there being emo like you gonna beat me up and then we are gonna cry together type shit. Like I'm tired of this already. I'm tired. Like damn, just draining. Four of Swords here. Yeah, somebody's going to have to come to peace with this. You need to think for yourself. That's another thing I'm getting. You need to be the one that meditates on this. You need to think about this. Okay? You need to to rest on it. You know, take a nap, think about it. Type it's something where you don't let this person get in your mind. Don't let this person change your mind. Don't let this person use emotion as like a tool or a weapon. Go with how you feel. Go with what you think don't let this person plant no damn ideas in your mind and make you think that anything is going to be different because this shit did not change in this whole reading i haven't seen nothing that is changing in a positive direction other than somebody getting released and getting this love you see what i'm saying ace of cups and you got the ace of cups right there this shit was meant to stay just like that it was meant to stay just like that and it's all good you might love this person this person might love you but there's some things that are not it's not right it's not matching and somebody trying to make you feel sorry for them that's not a reason to stay in a relationship if you see what is going on if you see how it's harming you you see what you want you want love <sighs> you got the five of wands again like i can't escape the five of wands you have it out here three times and this one is on top of the one that I, it's the five of wands, the king of cups and the five of wands again. He's always coming out as a cup. He's always, he first he came out as the knight of cups. Then I guess he didn't, he didn't feel like he was getting where he needed to go. It wasn't working or maybe it did work. And then he solidified that. He made that his staple. Like that's how he fights. He fights with the emotional thing or maybe he, he cries about some shit or maybe he begs or some shit. OK, but it's like this interferes with what you want. You start falling for that. And then this person wins because they do. They, there's, they persevere. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. This person even sounds like egotistical as hell. OK. This is somebody that you have to know in your mind the truth, because this person is going to use emotions to like get you away from the truth. You have to be solid. That's the only way you're going to wake up. And that's the only way you're going to see what you're missing out on. Okay. What's being held back from you. You're going to see it. Let me get an angel message here. Yeah. 
ease and grace. <sighs> this is something that's just naturally happening. It says learning experience. I think that, and I, I did say that in a reading, like this was something that you were just meant to learn in order to find real love. Like you had to know what love is not. And that would make it easier to find real love because this person right here got too many games. They got too many five of wands out here. Too many damn games, too many emotional games, too, too much. You are protected on your journey, okay? You are divinely guided. I'm even getting a purity of somebody. You cannot destroy something that is pure unless it's allowed. Like unless you allow this person to destroy you or you allow them to make you do things that make you unpure. That's the only way that you can be unpure. This person can't touch you. Like if you leave, this person cannot touch you. That's why they're trying to keep you. I'm going to leave it right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really, really appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.